Alright. So next anomaly. It's none other than SP2784. AKA, my friends have made a net. Item, SP2784. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-2784 instances have been discreetly monitored at all times. The 2784 team is to administer anesthetics to civilians that become distressed by 2784 instances. Foundation approved psychological counselors must be available in case of 2784 instance realizes that it is experiencing a hallucination and becomes distressed. A house containing an entrance to 2784-A is owned by the Foundation. It must be occupied by at least one Foundation agent at all times. All rooms of the house must be prepared with discrete monitoring devices. 2784 instances are permitted to enter the house and are to be recorded for the duration of their stay. Civilians must be prevented from entering the house. Twenty-seven eighty-four designates a group of twelve adult humans, all aged between thirty-two and fifty, living in Redacted, who experience shared hallucinations of an adult male human they refer to, refer to as Andrew Redacted. Twenty-seven eighty-four instances experience these hallucinations only when alone or in the presence of other twenty-seven eighty-four instances. I mean that Andrew is reclusive and shy. All 2784 instances behave as if the entity is physically present during hallucinations and are unwilling or unable to discuss them in detail except with other 2784 instances. Research indicates that Andrew Redacted was born in 1980 and lived at Redacted Road. Redacted. No official record of him exists after 2005 when he would have been 25 years old. 2784-A is an, is an extra-universal space containing the mummified corpse of an, an adult human male. The corpse is approximately 25 years old, at the time of death by unknown cause, and wearing casual clothes coming to the area around Redacted circa 2005. The space is a shaft 9 meters long and 7 meters wide, with a height of 3,000 3, meters. Terminating at the bottom, at the bottom in a pool of water that extends for an unknown depth. The walls of the space consist of limestone. The corpse is suspended inside dash A by fourteen strands of string, displaying anomalous tensile strength that anchor into the walls and wrap around the corpse. So far, no method has been found that is able to cut these strands or work the corpse free. The entrance to SP SCP 2784-A is located in the first floor bedroom of the suburban house at Redacted Road, Redacted, where, where the north and west walls meet the ceiling. Anything approaching this corner of the room is transported into 2784-A. 2784 was brought to the Foundation's attention when the entrance to 2784-A was discovered by Mr. and Mrs. Redacted, a couple who had recently moved into the house at Redacted Road Redacted. The couple was administered in Essex, and the Foundation took ownership of the residence and interviews prior to investigation. The couple indicated that they were repeatedly questioned by 2784 instances about Andrew Redacted, who was implied to be a current resident of the house. 2784-1, Foundation was able to contact the couple, officially listed as Andrew Redacted's parents, who moved away in 2005. They indicated that they considered Andrew Redacted to still be living and Redacted and claimed to have spoken to him recently, but could not remember what the conversation was about. They have been designated as 2784 instances, bringing a total number up to 14. A DNA test performed on the corpse in site 2784-A reveals that it is likely Andrew redacted. 
Addendum 2784-2. A collection of origami struck sculptures was recovered from the house containing 2784-A, including an origami box that unfolded into two pieces of paper containing handwritten notes. Handwritten, handwriting matches that of Andrew redacted. Notably, the origami box was smaller than the dimensions of the two pieces of paper should physically allow for. Other origami structures recovered from the house show similar anomalies. Document 2784-1 Man, you sat one corner in the bedroom. It's just like folding paper. Remember, just like folding paper. Messing with people's heads is trickier, but you can't do it. It's for the best. Don't make them worry about you. Make sure they won't miss you. Unfold it, go inside, set it up. Important, remember to pull the hole in after you. Document 2784-2 Mom, 1, Mom, 2, Dad, 3, Ken, 4, Stacy, 5, Molly, 6, Other, Andy, 7, Isaac, 8, Alex, 9, Carol, 10, Lily, 11, Luke, 12, Irene, 13, Sandy, 14, Izzy. Note, the first names in document 2784-2 correspond with the names known of known 2784 instances. Interview 2784-3. Interviewed 2784-10. Interviewer, Dr. Redacted. Forward. Interview conducted with 2784-10. Who agreed to discuss their perceptions of Andrew Redacted? Begin log. Doctor Redacted. Before we, we begin, you should note that I may have some things that will disturb you. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm alright with that. Oh wait, SCP-2784-10. Yeah, I'm alright with that. Good. Now why did you ask Mr. and Mrs. Redacted all those questions? Ah, uh, well... I mean, I didn't realize Andy was writing the place out. I mean, people start showing up at your friend's place with no warning. You're gonna be, you're gonna be curious, right? I see. Now, when would you say you started seeing Andrew Redacted? SCP-2784-10 laughs. What do you mean when I mean, started seeing him? My family moved here when I was, what, five? We lived across the street from him. I've seen him ever since. What can you tell me about Andrew? He's, well, it's kind of funny, you know. The thing that really sticks out about him is how lucky he is, right? Like any of the board games they play, you know, dice and cards. If Andy really wants to win, he does. I mean, not all the time, of course. But I don't think he ever lost anything high stakes. Other than that, he's a cool guy. Pretty nice. I don't think he had any real problems with anyone. Con. Con. Oh. And one other neat thing Andy does is he gets, he's into origami, right? Making things out of paper. He's really good at it. Makes some really crazy stuff. Like stuff we can never figure out how he does it. We ask it and he just smirks and won't say. But not in a malicious way, you know? It's just Andy being Andy. Thank you. Can you recall the details of your last conversation with him? Oh uh, yeah, it was, uh, we were talking about this. Oh, and he does a thing we, with string. That's another thing he does, like origami, yeah? He's always making these weird knots that no one can figure out. He must have been showing me in another one of those, something like that. SCP-2784-10 laughs. I see. Have you noticed any significant change in his behavior at all? Well, a while back when we were teenagers, he got kind of withdrawn and a little shy, I think. He's got better when we grew up and his parents moved away. Though? He's still a little shy, I guess. Like how he doesn't want to be around new people. I mean, as far as I know, he just hangs out with the people he knew in high school. Do you know what could have caused the change in his personality? 
Uh, no, I don't. I mean, it's not really important, is it? He still seems happy these days. End log. Closing statement. SCP-784-10 believes that Andrew Redacted, they hallucinate to be Andrew Redacted. They knew before he died. All 2784 instances display a similar belief. Interview revealed no cause for concern and no updates to containment procedures are needed at this time. All right. I. Okay, I didn't see any of these thumbnails before it started. I just instantly clicked the video, so I'm seeing these for the first time as well. The anomaly is harmless. Why did they make it look like you would die if you go towards them? <sighs> Four. All right. Let's play this video. See if it's actually as good as Zero Two C Zero. Kloss looked up at the body, suspended in the middle of the shaft. The clothes looked average, what even modern, but the body was desiccated and shriveled. It was mummified. Wound about its appendages and body were strings suspending it in midair. From its back were more strings, embedded in the flesh and attached to the walls of the shaft. Altogether, 14 of them. The shaft itself was just as eerie, narrow and short, but cavernously deep. It must have been a few thousand meters deep, and at the bottom was a pool of water of unknown depth. Okay, so the I guess... Boss guessed it was probably incredibly deep. A hand came through the vortex surrounding Kloss's head and pulled him back. Okay, so they're talking about the mummy in the now, shack. They stood okay. upon the ladder in the bedroom corner. What was it? What did you see? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. Mummified corpse hanging by wires or strings in a narrow but massively tall chamber of sorts with water at the bottom. Chen looked Kloss right in the eye. Right. I guess the drinks are on me then. Damn right they are. Welcome back. What the fuck? Today I bring you SCP-2784. My friends have made a net. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The 12 men and women sat in the living room, awaiting Kloss and Chen's return. As they approached, they grew quiet and looked at the two men. So, where's Andrew? The group looked at each other, nobody volunteering to speak up. One woman finally spoke. You just missed him. Like, literally. He just went out when you came back down. Kloss looked back at the lady. How's that possible? Every time we leave you lot, alone in here, you claim Andrew hey, showed up, and when we get back, he just left. Also, I don't know what to tell They said 12. But if we just go back here... And... Where was it? The article is saying... Oh yeah, it just says right down here. Fourteen. Not twelve. There's fourteen people. Tell you, but it's true. Kloss looked at Chen. We're spinning our wheels here. I think it's time to talk to Pythia. Do we have to? She creeps me out. They entered the containment cell. It was in what? one of the oldest and least known sections of the foundation. W what the fuck? Behind the glass floated the anomaly. My name is Pythia of Delphi. Come forth and ask your questions. This isn't in the article! Beware. The answers you receive may not be the answers you seek. Chen leaned towards Kloss. Every time. Every single time. We know who you are. She glared back at Chen, eyes ablaze and hissed. Pythia, we're on a case, SCP-2874. Mummified corpse, 12 people who hallucinate seeing this- 14! 
but he disappears each time we enter the room. Thoughts? You seek answers when you should be seeking numbers. Great! Thanks! Helpful as always. Her color grew violent. The numbers will give you the answers. Foolish child of Qing Shi Huang. Did you... Did you just insult me with a Chinese emperor? Thank you, Pythia. I... Klaus Wok Chen. How can I bring racism in these videos? Out of the room. So why are we visiting this old couple? The current owners of that house, the ones we amnesticized, they gave us the names of the previous owners. And... They have a son named Andrew. Chen's eyes widened as he nodded. Andrew? He's fine. Why, he's living in our old house still. In fact, I just spoke to him a few days ago. But I can't recall what about. Are you absolutely sure about that? When was the last time you saw your son? When was she it? Really a god? That is, is that odd? a fake deer in her I box? I seem to recall exactly. I, I... Robin, that anomaly was not even mentioned in the article. I don't even know what the anomaly that is. Yeah, it doesn't even say anywhere in here about another anomaly. So he just threw in a random SCP in this. It's not even supposed to be there. This is why we hate content farms. Klaus nodded and signaled to Chen it was time to go. Thank you for your time. In fact, 14. this never happened either. Fourteen. Yes, fourteen. Mm-hmm. Fourteen. You have no idea what fourteen is. Not a clue. Did they say number? Okay, so we're at 425. Let's go back real quick. Told you. Try me. Mummified corpse hanging by one massively tall chamber of sorts with water at the bottom. Chen looked Klaus right in the eye. Right. I guess the drinks are on me then. Damn right they are. Alright, we're gonna go back. Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP. The twelve men and women sat. As they approached, they grew quiet. The woman finally spoke. When you came back down. Klaus looked back at the lady. How's that possible? Every time. Klaus looked at Chen. We're spinning our wheels here. I think it's time to talk to Pythia. Do we have Pi to? They say Pythia. She creeps me out. They entered the containment cell. It was in one of the oldest and least known sections of the foundation. Behind the glass floated the anomaly. My name is Pythia of Delphi. Come forth and ask your questions of me. But beware. The answers you receive may not be the answers you seek. Yeah, that's great and all, but they don't say the name of the anomaly nor report it in the description. Every what you're supposed to do. We like, know who you are. Pythia is an SP. She glared yeah, back at yeah, I know. Eyes but they don't blue. say the number. Pythia. Or put the We're put it clue. I or put it down here like this is. This video is part of this anomaly. You have to do that in a video. <coughs> they didn't do it. A number? Exactly. Fantastic. What did Pythia tell us? Seek the numbers. Fourteen. The corpse. Fourteen strings. The hallucinating friends. Fourteen. Wait. No. You're wrong there. There was only twelve friends. And two parents. Fourteen people. Fourteen strings. Okay, so they went from twelve to fourteen. Okay, this... They can't stick to one thing, and it's hurting me. They sat down in the living room once again with the group of 12. As they spoke with them, the group revealed more information about the hallucinations of Andrew. Like his parents, they still believed him to be living in the house, though none could recall any specific details. Most had known Andrew from a young child and expressed how he had always been shy and reserved. He didn't make friends easily, and the 12 in the room were probably okay. his closest. He liked to do magic tricks. Things that they could never fully understand. He was able to fold origami into impossible shapes. When they had asked him how he did it, he would just laugh and shrug his shoulders. As a teenager, 
He showed them new tricks. Tricks that involved pieces of string. He could control them and make them move as if it were magic. It was around this time that he became more withdrawn and seemed to be somewhat depressed. But this phase soon passed, around the same time they started to realize something had changed. They searched the bedroom, hoping to find a clue or something they had missed the first time around. We need to search the pool, in that anomalous corridor. I think I can get down there. Hold up, Doc. This is my field. You wait here. I'll handle it. They lowered Chen down into the water. It was dark. There didn't appear to be anything of note. It was impossibly large and deep, but in the distance something glinted. Chen moved towards the glinting object. It was an origami box. Kloss opened the box. Within was a piece of paper, a paper too large to have fitted inside that box. It yes, was that's correct. Anomalous. There were instructions reading. The plan. Use that one corner in the bedroom. It's just like folding paper. Remember, just like folding paper. Messing with people's heads is trickier, but you can do it. It's for the best. Don't make them worry about you. Make sure they won't miss you. 14 mm -hmm. strings for 14 memories. Make sure they won't miss you. Unfold it, go inside, set it up. We'll see them again in another life. Important. Remember to pull the hole in after you. SCP-2784 instances are to be discreetly monitored at all times. The SCP-2784 containment the team is to administer amnestics to civilians who become distressed by SCP-2784 instances. Why did they make that look sexual? Psychological counselors must be available in case an SCP-2784 okay. instance realizes that it is experiencing a hallucination and becomes distressed. The house containing the entrance to SCP-2784-A is owned by the Foundation and must be occupied by at least one Foundation agent at all times. All okay. rooms of the house must be prepared with discrete monitoring devices. SCP-2784 instances are permitted to enter the house and are to be recorded for the duration of their stay. Civilians must be prevented from entering the house. Why? SCP-2784 designate... Why are they wearing shit from Squid Game? Oh my god. Okay. 12 adult humans, all aged between 30 and 50, living in <laughs> who experience shared hallucinations of an adult male human they refer to as Andrew. <laughs> SCP-2784 instances experience these hallucinations only when alone or in the presence of other shit up. Yes, instances. they are. Claiming that Andrew is reclusive and shy. All SCP-2784 instances behave and why are you physically present during hallucinations and are unwilling or unable to discuss them in detail except with other SCP-2784 instances. Research indicates that Andrew was born in 1980 and lived at Road. No official record of... Hold on. Did it actually mention when he was born? Like anywhere at all. They say approximately 20. Uh, of course, it's approximately 25 years old, time of death. Come around, around this type of era. I don't think it says anything about. No official record for exists after 2005, and he would have been to that, uh, 25 years old. Wait a minute. Birthday 1980. No official record of him exists after 2005. That's true. Okay. Okay, SMTM mentioned his name. I did it. Name of Falk. And that's all I could find. Yeah, probably because this that anomaly they use doesn't even connect to this anomaly. Then when he would have been twenty five years old. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, it shows nowhere in here about when he was fucking born. So they just pulled that out of their ass. 
picture of him exists after 2005, when he would have been 25 years old. SCP-2784-A is an extra universal space containing the mummified corpse of an adult human male. That's correct. The corpse was approximately 25 years old at the time of death by unknown cause and wearing casual clothes common to the area around <laughs> circa 2005. The space is a shaft, 9 meters long by 7 mm -hmm. meters wide, with a height of 3,000 meters, terminating at the bottom in a pool of water that extends for an unknown depth. The walls of the space consist of limestone. The corpse is suspended inside SCP-2784-A by 14 strands of string displaying anomalous tensile strength that anchor into the walls and wrap around the corpse. So far, no method has been found that is able to cut these strands or work the corpse free. The entrance to SCP-2784-A is located in a first floor bedroom of the suburban house at <laughs> Road, where the north and west walls meet the ceiling. Anything approaching this corner okay. of the room is transported into SCP-2784-A. SCP-2784 was brought to the Foundation's attention when the entrance to SCP-2784-A was discovered by Mr. and Mrs. B a couple who had recently moved into Why the are they making this look sexual? <laughs> like, she's thinking sexual thoughts. Why? Wait, hold on. Where are you in? Born in 1980, but grew up to SP activity later in 2006. Yeah, because... Let's see. Let's go back and look. Uh, the... Oh wait, Andrew was born in 1980. Okay, so it does conclude that. I didn't see that. On a redacted, no official record six is after 2005. Okay. Animal girl always giving away sexual eyes. Oh my god. I didn't see that at first. That's my bad on my part. House at Road. The couple was a domestics, and the foundation took ownership of the residence. In interviews prior to amnestization. The couple indicated that they were repeatedly questioned by SCP-2784 instances about Andrew L who was implied to be the current resident of the house. We all experience dark thoughts and depression throughout life, but suicide isn't the answer. There's always someone waiting to help you and show you that your life is worthwhile. Isn't that right, Lucius? Oh, right. Terribly sorry. Professor. Lucius, <laughs> you upstarts in your titles, but I'll let it slide. They just want a sexual part in the video. What the fuck is this right here? There's no Garten of Ban Ban SCP. God fucking damn it. <sighs> Removal of characters slash license. Hmm. I'm going to say that's a bit iffy. Because these two are the only one mentioned named. But these weren't named. It's a bit iffy on that. It's iffy. I don't know. Mm. I'm only going to give it a two because they didn't state the name. That's the only reason I'm actually giving that a score. Added gore or violence? Again, it didn't add any violence. Think fuck. Dave, based on the reply of the article, four. 
they included random bullshit. <laughs> Fucking thing. It's just, just through that fucker. <laughs> that doesn't even belong to me, anomaly. Only minute here is zero. So it got a fifty percent again, which is not bad. 